you're not just talking about conserving the horses themselves, you end up talking about habitat destruction because it's their habitats that are being destroyed. You end up talking about livelihoods, alternately, alternative livelihoods for the communities that rely on fishing seahorses. But that was one of the things that struck me as being so important. We weren't just hammering a conservation message, don't fish seahorses, they're vulnerable, they're endangered. We were trying to give something back helping them establish a guest house where they could have tourists come, eco-tourists come. So there was some income coming in and you take these tourists out to snorkel and see the seahorses rather than fishing them, establishing small marine protected areas and a network along the coast. So it was all incremental steps to help the community um, help themselves effectively. And so there were so many elements to that job. 